What's up guys, Tony Snuff here, meaning I am Tony, and yes, this is Snuff. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel on this awesome Christmas Eve slash Christmas Day. So get up off your Christmas porn hub and spank wire, you sick bastards. Whip out your favorite holiday snuff, and let's get to sniffing it. Today, as promised, we're going to be dealing some justice. Just like if your kids are bad, you deal them some cold. Oh yeah, we, we're getting it ready today. We're going to be dealing some justice to some kids while sniffing. Bam, Dr. J.R. Justice. Mm. Yes, 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 we are, baby. All right, so while you guys are putting out y'all's presents for these kids, let them know that Santa's been here. We're going to bust out some justice, baby. All right. Mm, 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 mm. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, I don't have any kids. <laughs> I'm at my sister's house out in Pensacola, Florida, with my Christmas sweater, a gingerbread man with my gingerection, and let's get to doing this. As you know, that Dr. J.R. Justice, as you can see by the tent, is by Wilson Tashero, Frey Bergen Trayer, <coughs> getting this thing going. And like I've said before, I absolutely love these tins. I really do. The cap screws on nice, you know, all that good stuff. The only thing that I've been noticing recently about these tins is I, I tend to grip them pretty hard whenever I'm opening them, and I dent in the sides. Um, it's really funny when I do it because it actually gives me something to hold on to. Like, I'll press it in and then unscrew it, and I always orient it to that. The only other downfall is whenever you get to the end of these tins, you're going to need a snuff spoon or something unless you want to get snuff residue all over your fingers to uh, to get to the snuff at the bottom. Or you could tap it and it's just a pain in the ass. So once you get to a certain point, I usually move this stuff to a baby food jar. And with some of them, I do that anyway because these tins tend to corrode. And you'll notice whenever they do corrode because you have these tiny little white specks in your snuff and that's your tin corroding away. Especially with the uh, the higher end perfumey, you know the uh, the perfumey snuffs, and uh, this is probably one that'll end up corroding through the tent. So be cognizant of that. Let me sit down here. All right. So moving past the tent, Dr. J R Justice. Yeah, let's put that right there. All right. So, as you can see, it is a dark brown color. It is dark brown, and it is a medium grind very fluffy and a medium moisture content like you push it in and it starts getting on your finger and it's good to go as soon as you open the tin you get a very very perfumey and florally smell to it which to me it's pleasant i really do like these i've had some people tell me it gives them a headache because it is so strong but as soon as you open the tin everybody within like a three foot vicinity can smell it so you know if you you know so depending on where you're sniffing it you know people are gonna smell it um but it doesn't smell bad it's very very floral though very very flowery smell just out of the tent so again a little bit of a close up on the uh, the dark brownness of it and the moisture very very fluffy you know not too bad at all let's go ahead and get our little pinch of this warm that sucker up now when you warm it up, you can actually smell it uh, just a tiny bit more just because it is warming and the oils are releasing the fragrance out there. Sorry if my voice is a little bit low. We got three small kids sleeping in the back, so I can't be as crazy as I normally am. All right, so sprinkle this little dildo on your, whoa. Okay, let's not pull those out. <laughs> All right, so right here, yeah. All right, so. With as fluffy as this snuff is, you do want to be a little bit light when you take it. It is still, you know, a medium grind and medium moisture, but it does tend to coat the entire inside of your nasal passage. <coughs> and it'll cause you to sneeze. I didn't have time to even do my sneeze prevention technique on that one. Um, because it is so powdery, you know, it'll get back there and it will make you sneeze a little bit. So. Now, when it gets in your nose, you do experience a bit of a burn. It lasts about five or six seconds, um, so not too bad, but it is a little intense. You get, you know, a good little tingle from it, which I absolutely love. And again, that causes the uh, the sneeze. 
All right, so there we go. Now that I don't want to sneeze, you you get a very very good. There's a very slight baby powder scent to it. Very very slight, but very strong floral fragrances, and it's very pleasant in my opinion. Very floral and very very perfumey. Um, it's not bad at all, and. I, I would definitely recommend it. For those who like the perfumey or the floral snuffs, this is definitely one that you're going to want to give a try. And those of you who like the ones that kind of smell powdery, like the baby powder and stuff like that, also give this a try because there is hints of that in there. So it's definitely a very, very good snuff. You, I, don't, I haven't experienced any kind of a drip to it. The nicotine is on par with it. You know, it's good. It's really good. The scent, I have smelled this stuff. 30 minutes after easy and it's not like after about 15 20 minutes you won't you know of course you're going to be used to it and you won't smell it again but randomly like I'll be watching TV 30 or 40 minutes later you know and I've had the good nicotine to it so I don't you know I'm not constantly sniffing it and then I'll like move to a different part of the couch or I'll like itch my nose or something and it's like immediately I'll get three or four real good um, breaths and I'll smell it and this is like oh yeah I did sniff that and it's really good and it's almost like a uh, it's it like relives for another five minutes after that so that's really really cool I really uh, I really enjoy it and um, as you can see I've been in there you know quite a bit that's how deep it is now you know so I've been in it quite a bit the past couple of days trying to get ready for this review and I try to get y'all a Christmas review every year so again I'm doing it for you guys so um, I really hope that you guys have tried this. If you haven't, then you need to order that shit right now. Um, give it a Christmas present to yourself, holiday present, whatever the hell you want to call it. You should get it and try it. It's really good. Um, as long as you're not sensitive. If you're sensitive to the strong perfumes and it does give you a headache, then don't do it. Because I don't want you to comment and be like, hey, asshole, give me a migraine. But anything other than that, you know, I would definitely give it a shot. Try, you know. Yeah, that's all I can say about it. Give it a shot. It's really good. It's real pleasant. Um, you know, it's not that bad at all. So if you've tried it before, I know a couple of y'all have said that y'all tried it. Um, a couple of y'all have been Snapchatting me saying that y'all like it. Um, definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. Make sure to add me on Snapchat. If you don't have it, download that Snapchat app. Add me on it. Just search Tony Snuff. No spaces, nothing. All lowercase. Tony Snuff. Send me a uh, send me a request. I'll add you guys. I'll be giving you guys updates on what I'm sniffing for the day, what my next review is going to be. I'll just bullshit back and forth with you. So that's cool. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down here next to my boobies. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Check out my onesie. Check out my onesie. Suck, monkey. I'll see you guys later. Get in the Christmas spirit. You guys have a great spirit or a great Christmas and a great holiday season. And I'll catch you guys in the next video for my top 10 snuffs of 2014 baby oh yeah i'll see you guys next week sometime peace